What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. Today's lesson is going to be very different. It will be focused on vocabulary that can be very useful to talk about love and relationships. I think this vocabulary can stand you in good stead for your speaking exam if your topic has something to do with relationships or, for example, dating apps. Are you ready to learn new vocabulary? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off! So today we're going to learn 20 phrasal verbs and we're going to move through different stages of a relationship. So let's start from the beginning. Imagine you see someone you like and you want to flirt with this person. So we're going to look at three phrasal verbs that mean to flirt. Number one, to hit on someone. It's American and it's informal. An example sentence, I think the waiter is hitting on you. Number two, to chat someone up. This one is British and it's also informal. And it means to talk to someone in a way that shows that you're attracted to this person. For example, with the arrival of Tinder, it's less common to see guys chatting women up in a bar because it's less risky and you play safe. By the way, a fun fact, a lot of people don't know that Tinder is actually a word in English and it means something. So Tinder is small pieces of something dry that burns easily and is used for lighting fires. That's why the Tinder logo is the flame. And the third synonym is to pick someone up which means to start talking to someone you like and flirting with this person. An example sentence, did you pick up anyone at the party yesterday? Number four, one of my favorites, to come on to strong. And it means to flirt with someone in an overly forceful way. In Spanish, we have an idiom, which is very funny, and it's ir a saco. An example sentence, he came on too strong when he tried to kiss her on the first date. And here I've got a bonus example. It's from the song by Ed Sheeran. It's called Dive. And at the beginning of the song, Ed sings, oh, maybe I came on too strong. Maybe I waited too long. Guys, I recommend checking out this song because I think it's much easier to memorize and remember new vocabulary through music. And now let's move on to our phrasal verb number five, to lead someone on. It means to make someone believe that you like them and find them attractive when it's not true. In Spanish, we say dar falsas esperanzas. This phrasal verb is super common and I've heard it lots of times in different series and songs. For example, sorry, I didn't mean to lead you on. Here I've got another example from a song I like a lot. It's by Luis Capaldi. It's called Let It Roll and Luis sings, I've been so lost since you left, wish you kept leading me on. Let's continue number six, to ask someone out. It means to invite someone on a date, for example, to a restaurant or the cinema, as a way of starting a romantic relationship. For example, you should ask her out, don't miss the boat. And here we've got a C2 idiom 
to miss the boat, which means to lose an opportunity to do something by being slow to act. Number seven, to make out. It means to kiss someone and hold this person romantically. For example, I saw them making out in the office. Number eight, to fall for someone. It means to start having strong romantic feelings about someone. For example, I'm falling for you. Guys, I've got a video on 11 phrasal verbs with to fall. If you haven't seen it yet, you can click on the card and you can also find the link in the description box. Number nine, to go out with someone. It means to have a romantic relationship with someone. For example, they are just starting to go out. Number 10, a C2 phrasal verb to open up. It means to start to talk more about yourself and your feelings. A lot of people find it hard to open up. An example sentence, I'm surprised at how much I've opened up to you. And guys, before we continue and learn 10 more phrasal verbs, just a super quick reminder please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue. Everything has been sweet and nice so far, but now we're going to look at some phrasal verbs that we can use when some problems arise. Number 11, to fall out with someone. It means to argue with someone and to have a row. For example, she fell out with him because he didn't keep his promise. Number 12, to make up. It means to forgive and to be friendly with your partner again after an argument. For example, they don't usually fight, and when they do, they make up straight away. Number 13, to settle down. It's level C1, and it means to stop playing the field. To play the field means to date several people at the same time, to commit to a relationship, and maybe start living together. An example sentence, I was surprised to hear that he eventually decided to settle down, as he's known for being a free spirit. Let's move on to our phrasal verb number 14, to move in. It means to start living with your partner. An example sentence, she was astounded when he asked her to move in with him so soon. Number 15, to drift apart. It's level C2 and it means to become less close to your partner and basically the flame of la is fading. An example sentence, their relationship is an emotional roller coaster and they are progressively drifting apart. To be a roller coaster means that a relationship has its ups and downs. So for example, one day you can be madly in love and the next you're fighting. Number 16, to cheat on someone. Long E, cheat. It means that you secretly have a sexual relationship with someone else. For example, he cheated on her several times. I'm so glad she found out the truth. Number 17, to break up. 
It means to end your relationship or marriage. An example sentence, I was astonished to find out they had broken up. They kind of looked like a perfect couple and seemed to have it all. Number 18, we've got another synonym of to break up and we can also say to split up. For example, she split up with her boyfriend and set off traveling the world. Tomorrow to go, number 19, to get back together. So if there is a happy ending, people start having a relationship with each other again. Let's put it into an example sentence. I don't think they'll get back together. And one more song that I recommend listening to is by Taylor Swift. And the title is We're Never Ever Getting Back Together. Okay, and last but not least, to get over. So in case there is no happy ending, you have to get over your breakup, which means that you have to accept this unpleasant and difficult situation and deal with it for a while. An example sentence, it took her a while to get over her breakup, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I love this phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And the last song, it's called Dancing with a Stranger by Sam Smith. And Sam sings, I don't want to be alone tonight. It's pretty clear that I'm not over you. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned some new phrasy verbs. And I really recommend listening to these songs because they can help you memorize this vocabulary more easily. And before we finish, I've got one extra recommendation. It's about a series that I liked a lot and it has to do with love and relationships. It's called Modern Love. It's available on Amazon. It's set in New York and it's about real stories. It's so beautifully told and it's one of my favorite series don't miss it and guys if you aren't an amazon member you can sign up for a free one month trial you can find the link in the description box and guys if you enjoyed this english bit please don't forget to give it some love by liking it remember to subscribe to my channel and catch me on instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!